Let's explore the capabilities of detecting eavesdropping devices using the RAXA ID RF detector. We are going to use an RF box simulator operating in the regular range of 433 MHz. For the ease of demonstration, the power of the simulator is less than 1 mW. For real bugs, the detection range will be several times higher. RAXA has several modes, each with its own characteristics. To detect active bugs, use search mode. In this mode, the display show shows maximum signal detected in the current place. When approaching the RF detector to the radio bug, the signal level on the display increases. The sharpest increase of the level is near the bug's antenna. In the conditions of noisy electromagnetic background, detection range value in search mode goes down. In this case, we see a large signal of cellular base station at frequency 934 MHz. In such circumstances, you can use the different search mode. Now placing the detector away from walls and objects, we activate different search mode. Within a few seconds, the LED analyzes signals at the place and saves them. With further movements of the RAXA detector, these signals are subtracted in order to reduce the influence of extraneous background signals and increase detection range of eavesdropping devices. Maximum detection range can be obtained using sweep mode. In this mode, all detected signals are least structured on the display. If this or that signal evokes suspicions, you can select it and search for it at, the, at this frequency. In search mode, there is audio signal control available, which makes it possible to listen to the signal through the building speaker. In this case, we can hear a characteristic modulation of cellular base station signal. Making sure there are no active radio bugs, we can switch the RF detector to monitoring mode. In this mode, uh, first within 2-3 minutes, all the signals at the switch on point are analyzed and saved. And then continuous monitoring is activated. In this case, only those bugs are detected uh, that were activated after monitoring mode has been activated. After two minutes, the accumulation of background signals is completed. The display shows regular status in a minute the display turns off. Monitoring mode continuously analyzes the level of current radio signals. In case it exceeds a threshold value, there is an alarm message, a sound signal and a vibrating alert that is repeated every five minutes while the alarm status is active. Let's turn on the simulator. Raksa displayed alarm message. Information about the alarm event is logged and can be viewed directly in monitoring mode. The log saves both the time the event occurred and uh, disappeared and the type of signal.